Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. My name is Tom Novak, and today is April 19th of 2023. It's Wednesday. It's 58 degrees Fahrenheit or 14 degrees Celsius at 8 o'clock in the evening. Today we're going to work on it, the Jerusalem cherry from uh, Ted's Greenhouse plus the brain, the maple brain. So let's tackle the Jerusalem cherry first. I got Ted's mix, and this is a nice variegated one. And I don't know if you can see the flower in there, but I'm going to have to cut it off. It, the white flower blends in with the variegation, but at Ted's it's only $3.99. So if you want to try something nice and easy. So I'm not going to do no underwater raking because I don't have everything ready because we got to work on the brain. So let's do the Jerusalem cherry. I'm not going to cut a lot off because I don't know when it was potted and how long it's been in the pot. So, there it is. Get my ironwood tool. We're gonna just take off this main big branch. It's about here, we're gonna keep it short. And then, this one's a little scraggly, so we're gonna, this is like a, a water shoot here. So we're gonna cut that off and then we're going to cut this back to about here. And this one's coming out a little bit too far, so we're going to cut it back to here, right above the nodes. Because you can see the nodes right there. So let's put these on the side. And they do root from cuttings. Now the fruit on this is poisonous. I mean, don't let it around your kids. This plant is is uh, native to Brazil and South America and the best time to repot it is in spring so let me put these on the side okay so we're gonna put our, our shears in here I don't want Kevin to get hit with it there so let's take it out let me move this on the side because I'm gonna do an experiment with the maple brain so let me put this here so you can see. So we can get cutting on here because we're going to do two. And we're going to put this on the side. And you can see it's got a nice root system. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do this left-handed so you can see what I'm doing. And that's a little bit tough over there. So what did I do with my handy-dandy root rake? Just gonna tap it in, tap it in. Just ease out the soil the best we can. Now you can't overwater these. Let them dry out a little bit because if you overwater them, they tend to get root rot. There we go. I don't know where it's at on the base, so we're gonna just go a little bit deeper. Now I don't want to do too much. Right now, can you see it? Yeah. Sorry if I'm right-handed, but what are you gonna do? And then I got a mess over here. Should have moved everything out of the way. Come on, Tom, don't get discombobulated here. There we go. Just like that. Okay. I gotta clean this mess, I know. Got a mess here, Tom. Now this has got a nice stringy root system. You can see how nice the root system is. And it's still in the plug. So we're gonna take not a lot out off the plug because I just wanna break up the plug the best we can because I don't know what type of plugs they use, but we got it. We got a nice, nice root system. Very nice. And now, take my shears, my scissors, and just cut off about a third of the root system. Now we don't have no major roots except this one root here. It's 
circling. Circling bad English, Tom. So let's just cut the circle off. Pull that out. Just like that. Don't be afraid. And then we'll go in the new greenhouse. But you can see the nice fibrous root system it has. So we can develop it. Now these, do these are not a long-lived tree. Let me put this on the side. So we can dump the soil out. It usually lasts about, uh, good Lord, Tom, we got a mess. Usually lives to about 10 years. But hey, if you want to start something out and have your kids try it out, it's good. But if you got grandkids, oh, wait, the boss is here. The boss is here. Kevin's here. The boss is here. <laughs> the boss. So if you got grandkids, well, you can you can enjoy the flowers, and as the fruit grows, it'll turn I think a nice bright orange red or a reddish color. But if you got grandkids coming over, or if you got kids in the house, then just pick the fruit off because that is you don't want the kids thinking oh this is fruit I can eat it. I wouldn't do it. Okay, Kevin, you're dreadfully in the way. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Nikos root pack and stick it on the bottom. Let's get it out. We're going to mound the soil in the middle. Put the root pack right there, and it's going to dissolve. Just get the root pack nice and flat in there. Now the root pack will dissolve. So don't be afraid of doing it. Okay, Tom, let's get our tree. I'm not worried about a front right now, but right now you can see this branch coming out. So I think we'll take that branch off too. And we'll have a nice upright structure for now. And then we'll just spread out the roots into the soil on top of our on top of our root pack and this is Ted's mix he's got a nice fine cactus mix you go to Ted's out in Tinley Park he's got good stuff really good stuff my friend loved his olive tree that I got him so let's put that in we'll fire that chopstick into the roots get all the air pockets out Just press it in, press it in. You're going to say, Tom, it's a little high. That's all right. Why is that? Well, it's better to be a little high than too low. Because say you're in, the, in a swimming pool or you're out swimming at the beach or something and the water is up to here and then you put the water to here, how are you going to feel? Uncomfortable. That's just how our little plant will feel. There we go. And we'll just cut off some of these top roots right here. Just like that. Put it there. And then you can see how it looks. Now we're not worried on front or back yet because I want to see how it's going to grow. We'll develop the other branches later but let's see what's going on. So let me give this a nice little spray. Get the surface tension out. And by watering it in we'll get Mr. Elephant. Mr. Elephant says hello to all the kids out there. Freddie, Mia, Emily and Theodore. See how nice when you take the surface tension out, everything goes in real easy. See that? There you go. Okay. Now we got it nice and 
even in there. And then I'll take some more of the soil. And we still got room to get to the base there. Just like that. Just put it in. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Fire your fingers in there. Don't be afraid to get your fingers dirty. You were a kid once. You played in the, in the dirt. But back then we call it dirt. Right now we're, we know better. It's soil. Because soil's living. Dirt's what you sweep off the floor. Now I'm not going to do much decorating on it. Because... I wanted to start growing first. And I'll put it in the greenhouse and we'll go from there. And we'll put our tag in there so we know what it is. Later on I'll write the date when I put it in. There. And I still got a water because nothing's dripping out yet. So come on Mr. Elephant, let's give it some water. There we go. Get all them air pockets out when you do that. Now, now, we'll put our little Jerusalem cherry on the side. We got it in. And since this is going in the greenhouse, I don't have to worry about it, the wind hitting and everything. But I can put some rocks around it later. Right now I'm all in a tither here, in a mess. Now, now let's cover up our Ted's mix because we're going to do an experiment. Will this root or will it not root? This is a big branch I cut off growing into the yard through the fence. Well, Tom, the people ain't going to see it if you don't move it. So I cut it here and I let it soak. Now, Got our potting soil here, and I got some uh, pe uh, pea pots in there. I got them in here so they don't uh, get all goofed up. Now, we're going to take, right now, this thing's growing nice, but this is the major part of the brain right here. This will tell it to grow or not. So we're going to take our... our uh, Ironwood, ratcheting pruners, we're going to cut it straight, straight up down. There. This tree's got this long, Jesus, I've been here. Man, that tree's got to be over 75 years old. So, we're going to take that I got this off of. Well, it's one of its babies. I stick that there and then close that up put it in my ironwood pouch remember nothing cuts wood like ironwood that's the old saying okay we're going to cut that and cut that branch off cut cut let me see there's another part of the brain right here, so we're going to cut above that. And then this one, we're going to cut this dead piece off. And then we'll see if it's going to root or not. Now, this is a long one coming out here. We're just going to cut it above to here. And I don't know what species of maple it is, but it's a, it's mother tree that the seed grew from. Is over 75 years old. That I know for sure. It's been that tree's been here for as long as I can remember. Okay, so what are we gonna do with this one? I'm gonna take this guy out of the way. Okay, now I got this here, and this should go into the soil deep. But first, I'm going to just put a little rooting hormone on, on there. Now, this is the powder. Now, since that's wet, you don't want to contaminate it because then everything on the inside here will be all wet and it'll get all, all goofed up. There. 
put some on there and right above the brain we got a flat cut I dipped it in we got it on there and then we're gonna use the back of our root rake oh, got a lot of junk in there you can see the soil is super super dry Well, Tom, we have to wet it. We have to wet it. So let's take the surface tension out. And we can pour more soil in there. And this way here, we'll see if it'll root in this pot. But this is a little bit top heavy. So what I'm gonna do, you can see how top heavy that is. So we're going to cut more off. Let's give it a go. Take it right to here. And put it in. All the way in. Get Mr. Elephant here. Let's water it in real good. And we'll put it in the greenhouse tomorrow. I have to make room in there. We got a lot of plants in there. See, just press it in, press it in. There. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my uh, cup and I'm going to put some fluoride on the top. To give it more stability because this is going to be this is what this is an aquarium substrate and this will help to hold it down there just give it a little shot so that guy's done now can this cutting be saved well let's let's try let's put this guy on the floor get it out of the way I'll water it in a little bit more because Time is running, and we'll get these guys out over here, and I'll just dip it. Well, I got nothing to dip it in, so I'll just give it a spray, but not yet because we got to cut. First, I got to take and fill up these two little pots. some of our sun grow mix just like that put it in don't be afraid it's just an experiment we're gonna see if it's gonna grow and these are in the peat pots take that stick out there we go now Tom you're getting discombobulated here Gonna take and we're gonna cut this to here. And then I'm gonna put them in a, like a little tray of water. And that way there, that way there it'll hold water and hopefully cause the roots to grow because maples like water. That's why you don't plant a maple in front of your house if your sewer systems, if your house is here and you got the maple in front of here, your system, work source system goes that way. You don't want to plant it there because, whoops, Tom, you goofed up. We didn't cut it by the brain, everybody. There. There we go. Just like that. Sorry. But it's live, so you got to ad lib. I dipped it in water and stick it in. Wet it. Now the cutting is only under a, it's not as thick as a pencil, so you don't have to worry about putting any paste or nothing on it. Now we got this one done. Now we got this big one here. Well, first we got this little guy. 
So we're going to try rooting that. So here's the here's the brain. Remember that's the brain. The nodes right there. Now will the brain tell us to let it grow? I don't know. We'll cut these out. Cut these this one out to about here. Just like that. Cut this one back to here. And let's get these out of the way. Out of the way. We got this good and wet. Dip it in our rooting powder. Stick it into the peat pot. Make sure it's in there good. Wet it. Now, what are we going to do with this big guy? You think it'll root? There's the brain. So, I'm going to take all these out of the way. Put them on the side. Yeah, it'll make a lot of nice little trees. But let's, let's take care of this first. So we can always see if it's going to grow. Cut it. Cut it. Here's the brain right here. Cut above the brain. This one's gone. Let's take our ratcheting pruner. Now, there's the brain there, so we're going to cut right below it. Right below the brain. And we'll see if we get a nice big trunk out of this. Take the, this little nub off. And we've got to take this back to here because that's all dead wood. There. So, will it grow? Will it root? I don't know, but let's give it a try. I got the powder on there. Put my hands in there. Push it in. You got nothing to lose. It's a free sample. Now, with this one, if you got kids at home, you can see if this will root. It's got nice spring leaves, but I can't really use them now. I got a lot of maples. So, let's get this out. I got my little, I got two holes drilled in there. The Forster with the diamond drill bits. Get the Got the holes covered, nice. Soil in. Now we're gonna cut it back to the brain. Remember, here's the brain. Cut it straight back. Peel these off. Close that. Dip it in the water. Now we're gonna dip it in the hormone. And we're just gonna Press that in, get a little more in there. Because I had a tree in here, it was a, it was a, a lemon seed, but it didn't take. Winter's hard on my plants in the basement. So I just do the best we can. It's like the survival of the fittest, only the strong survive. Let me get my spoon, put in the soil there, put it in. Now, we got that all in there, we sprayed it in, spray that in, and we got it. Now I'm going to water all this after the show because right now it's 24 minutes in and I don't want to bore everybody, so I'm going to water all that and get everything out of the way. So let's see what happens. Oh, there goes my hook for the for the cord. So today's Wednesday. Put on some old shows, some old cowboy shows. I just watched The Magnificent Seven with Hugh Brenner and uh, uh, what's his name? I can't think of it. Steve McQueen. 
very good show. That was great. So you take care, everybody. Have a cup of tea. Sit back, relax, enjoy a good old time western, and just enjoy the day. The rest of the evening. It's going on to almost eight thirty. Take care, everybody. <laughs>